Let's go. Here we are on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Perth City. And we've just picked up a Tiger 1200 for a test ride. I'm so high up. Oh, aren't you? Like you can see over the top of I my helmet. I can see over your helmet. Yeah. Is that a good thing? I don't know yet. <laughs> um, seating position's really weird for the pillion, that's for sure. Like, um, um, my legs aren't really, I guess, in a proper sitting. And yeah, normally I'm looking directly at the KTM on the back of your helmet and I'm actually looking over it. It's a very unusual feeling. Oh yeah, you've got little, little lights on the... Um... Oh, the... There is, that tell you there's cars coming up. So this has uh, radar detection on the rear of the bike only. You know, it looks like a big top it, heavy bike. It, um, it's definitely wider across the tank, am I yeah, right? Yeah, 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 way wider than, than the KTM. Comfortable though. Yep. Nice to have um, feet flat on the ground, I'll tell you that. It is, you, you did, I don't know, I guess I just deal with it because we're up higher on the, on the KTM. Yep. You just become used to that. Yeah, you know, you've got real confidence. Sure about the seat. The seat feels really hard, hard, like right in through, through the, like the groin area, I suppose. For me, it's on my sit bones. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. quite that's quite hard, is it? Hard, like I've got almost pressure pain already. So I've got a hand bar, like grab bar, under my butt. Oh yeah, yeah. On each side. Yep. Um, actually not bad position, um, probably a little bit wider seat than I have on the KTM, I think. Yep. Because the um, knuckle guards on my gloves don't bother me, I've got my hands turned inwards. Oh yes. And on the KTM I tend to find that they just dig into my hips a little. Definitely a bit vibrating in the hands. Yep. Well, I've got way more vibration through the handbar where I'm hanging on to. And I've actually got, yeah, the same in my, in my butt. Yep, yep. Definitely got, um, it's got plenty of go. Uh, I feel that. Yeah. This is Triumph's Tiger GT Explorer 1200. Triple cylinder. I find it a little, especially at, uh, sitting idle at lights and things like that, it's quite a rattly motor. My hands feel a bit tingly, so it's a bit, um, it's a bit vibrating. Shaft drive. Electronic suspension, which is actually really nice in the comfort mode. Pretty good. We're not sure on the seat. Passengers sitting up well high. Well high. <laughs> I'm actually looking over the helmet. It's uh, yeah, quite a different experience. Yeah, so she um, experiencing a bit of wind buffeting from obviously above, which we don't normally get on the, on the KDMs. No. Uh, so that's a little different. Um, the wind off the front screen is actually not too bad. Not sure about those mirrors because they have the indicator thing in them, um, whether you can change them out. But you get a pretty good look out of them. They're not a bad mirror. Uh, the interface to use, pretty intuitive. Um, not real hard, I don't think. Um, got this dicky little joystick, which is all right if you haven't got your gloves on, but when you've got your gloves on, it's a bit, it's a bit hard to get to. Tire pressure, riding aids, what do we got? Dampening, which is suspension, so we're down on comfort. Go right up to normal and sport. Uh, coolant, warnings, service settings, riding modes, traction control, shift assist, hill hold, blind spot radar, indicator self cancel. Yeah, so looks like this thing's got. Pretty much all the stuff that Triumph offer, I think. That returns you to home. So relatively straightforward, heated grips, um, cruise control, um, all keyless. Um, so that, I guess, presents another raft of things that could Possible. go wrong. Uh, but all these new bikes are the same. Uh, they're all fobbed. This, the BMW, the KTM, they're all fobbed. The demo bikes from uh, JCS Triumph in Perth, Burswood. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill's the guy there. He's been, um, yeah, really helpful. Easy to deal with. I flicked him an email um, earlier in the week and got back to me within a few hours, pretty much. Yep. Uh, said he had a bike available, tagged our name on it. Um, and when we got there this afternoon, 
it was exactly that. The bike was sitting there, had a sign with our name on it, so don't be out to ride it while before us or anything. Um, so, yeah. Bike thoughts. Triumph Tiger. <laughs> 1200. We rode, we actually test rode the top of the range, the GT Explorer. Explorer. Look, it, it rode nice. Um, I found it a bit vibrating. Uh, by the time we'd done, what, half hour, 40 minutes, I had tingly hands mm -hmm. uh, and a bit tingly in the seat department, which. And from a pillion same same because i had to hang on and my hands definitely have like a little vibration mm -hmm. in them from the what do you call them jesus bars <laughs> grab hands yeah oh, that's that that's the right term <laughs> plenty of power oh yeah no she get power for days and days on the thing it's, and yeah, stable uh brakes were pretty good um cruise control was good the instrumentation everything's pretty easy. easy to use navigate around um you know you'd probably set up your own profiles and all that sort of thing so, um being top of the range heated seat heated grips extra charging points for yeah. pillion pillion seat position was very high and he was actually yeah, going was. to have a look to see if it could be adjusted because yeah. I was so tall. We were basically a head higher than, yeah. than we are normally. Yeah. So it was um, quite different seating. Experiencing wind buffeting and all sorts, eh? Hey? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, look, it's not a terrible bike nope. by any means. Um, I like the fact that the electronic suspension yes. was lower when you come to a stop. I was fully flat footed mm. um, on the ground when we come to a stop. Uh, so that was good. Uh, the suspension for road riding. Yep, comfortable. Comfortable, really good. Really yeah. comfortable. And you can definitely, we played a little bit from the comfort level up to the normal. Just, you could you could feel it stiffen up. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, look, the bike was on full road tires. Yeah. Um, good road. We yeah. didn't get to take it. We didn't take it off road as such at all. Um, yeah, the. The handlebar position for me would probably roll them forward a little bit just to get the handlebars up just a little bit higher. The gear shifter would definitely need to be moved. It was like pointing towards the ground for whatever reason. Yep. Uh, so that's the Triumph it's Tiger not, 1200. It's not out of the mix. No, it's not off the table yet. We'll see. Tomorrow's another day with another bike. <laughs> see you tomorrow. on the coffee and then another bike test yeah looking forward to this one yeah this will be interesting this one no expectations i've never ridden one so i don't know what to expect but yeah there's a lot of them around so they can't be all that bad uh, let me drink my coffee Ooh. not so downward first impression that seat is plush. <laughs> wow. Well, good morning. As you can see, we're on a mighty BMW. Uh, this is a 1250 GSA Trophy Edition. And we're going to head for a, a good hour or so and uh, get some thoughts on this one. It uh, feels nice on the road, I know that. Your seat is in the low position. Uh, the passenger seat has no, no adjustment. adjustment. I'm definitely still higher than on the Kato, but possibly that's just because your seat position is lower, maybe. Yet again, straight off the bat, you know, compared to the 1090, just lots of power. Mm-hmm. They're way, way nicer power than the Triumph. Yep. Definitely. The seat's nice. Don't feel any vibrations through the seat. I've got a little bit, but no more than I would normally get, really. It's um, plush on the road. Isn't it? Um, screen's good to look at. Everything's right at your fingertips. 
quite easy to use. Um, no joystick, it's on yeah. the, yeah, so that's better. Indicator button's nice. Weight wise, it doesn't feel heavy. No, not at all. When you're riding, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Not top heavy. Well, here we are, back at the same park up spot we were yesterday. And today, we've got the mighty BMW GS 1250 in its trophy edition. Um, and we've probably just done, I don't know, what, half an hour? Yeah, it was a much, here again. much, much quicker getting out <laughs> here today. Um, and yeah, well, it's, um, I don't know, I think it's all that everybody hypes the bike up to be. It's comfortable, uh, it's a real pleasure to ride. Um, yeah, it's easy to, um, easy to make any settings, bits and pieces like that. So this bike, again, this has the full, um, full dynamic uh, suspension, so full electronic suspension, um, shaft drive, it's got that boxer engine, so it's, uh, yeah, the seating positions are good. Much better. Much better um, than yesterday's. Good foot pegs, um, not as high, I don't feel like I'm perched. Yep. Uh, and that seat, the, the cushioning on it and the shape of it is way better as well. Yep. Um, not fully sold on the hand grip so no no they're well you can see they're just framing yeah, so yeah. they're actually not hand grips extra to the back back frame yeah, yeah but again if i've got something behind me i probably don't hang on the same so yeah, true true um look for such a big bike around the front um it doesn't feel big and unweldy on the uh on the road um yeah super impressed with with that side of it um yeah, nice to ride. Well, I have to say, so far this is the nicer ride. Yeah, yeah. I, and I leaves it the 1090 for dead. Yep. As far as comfort comfortability. Comfort. Yep. Which is what we're well aware of. That the 1090 is amazing and has been great but what we're planning is going to involve a lot more road miles, longer time on the bike. We need a bit of comfort. Here we are, Auto Classic. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah. It really is, yeah, yeah. With having no expectations of the bike whatsoever, having never ever ridden a BMW, it's yeah, and its comfort level is next level. Yeah. It really is, yeah. Um also I told you a lie earlier. They bring the heated seats back for the twenty twenty four model. Oh okay. If you want to get a twenty twenty four model if you can wait for our heated seats. Which will be uh. the thirteen hundred, is that right? So the GSA is staying like this for a while. I'm okay. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, okay. Nice. Cool. Yeah, yep. cool. Tough. Time to get the thoughts on bike number two. Bike rides. number two. BMW. What do you reckon? Uh, good. Really good. Really good. Surprising. Like I said, we had no expectations of what the bike was going to be like. Yep. Never apart, been on from, apart from that there's a lot of them on the road, so they must be half decent. Uh, it felt uh, it felt comfortable, uh, felt confident on it. You know, the seat was in its low position, so for me, feet flat on the ground yep. every time we stopped, which was really nice actually. Uh, our KTMs, I can't get my, both feet flat on the ground, so. So. Um, for me, the seating position was much better. I wasn't as high, uh, 
and the seat was very plush. Um, no heated seats in this model, so not as much as that side of the tech. But the dealer did say that they're bringing that option back for 2024. 2024. Yeah, now we did. I think we actually said that the 1250 is being discontinued. So the GS 1250 will be discontinued. GSA will remain for at least another uh, full 12 months. So there will be a new 24 GSA 1250. Uh, and then once the new 1300 GSA is released, they will discontinue the 1250. Uh, Watch this space. <laughs> More to come. But I